This video I want to take a look at something that's pretty contentious in the workplace and that is the use of CCTV. Clearly there are important data protection considerations involved here. The Data Protection Commissioner issued new guidelines in December of 2015 in relation to the use of CCTV. CCTV systems capture personal data as defined by the Data Protection Acts and therefore that's where the Data Protection Commissioner would have a role. The data controller must be able to justify the use of CCTV and in most employment situations the data controller will be the employer. The first question to ask therefore is can the use of CCTV be justified? The second question to ask is is the use of the CCTV proportionate? If the purpose is for security reasons, for example, there's no huge difficulty justifying CCTV as a proportionate response. To monitor employees, that's more difficult, more problematic, but it's not impossible to justify or explain because if, for example, in a hotel or in a retail environment perhaps, if the employer can demonstrate that he or she has had a serious problem with pilferage, then it's clearly justifiable and proportionate. So the justification would normally arise from events that preceded the installation of the CCTV. So the advice to an employer would be to carry out an assessment. The Data Protection Commissioner recommends this before the installation of cameras. This assessment would look at the risk, the risk from the employer's perspective. It would also look at the privacy impact and that would be the impact on the privacy of employees and perhaps customers or clients. The assessment should also um, provide for clear signage indicating that recording is taking place and there should be a data protection policy in the workplace as well. There should also be, certainly from an employer's perspective, documentary evidence of prior problems in relation to security and or health and safety issues. Okay, one word of warning. Before recording data, the data subject should be warned of the recording. This is usually done by putting signs up with a contact number for the data, control, the data controller. Strongly advised for any employer to get have a written CCTV policy. This should contain the identity of the data controller, the purpose of the data processing, any third parties to whom it might be made available, and how an employee can make an access request. It should also spell out the retention period of the CCTV and the security arrangements for the CCTV. In other words, that the data wouldn't be freely available in the workplace or widely accessible to other employees or inappropriate, unauthorized personnel. The data should not be kept any longer than is necessary. And that is a common theme in the whole area of data protection. The use of data, keeping data and so on and so forth and recording data and capturing data is that it is proportionate and is no more than is necessary. So clearly keeping data for you know, years in situation or circumstances where an employee perhaps has left uh, the job may not be um, justified or proportionate. Then there's the question of supplying images to on Garda Siakana. This can happen very easily in a retail or perhaps hotel environment. The employer should obtain a written request from on Garda Siakana and this request should state ideally that a criminal investigation is being carried out. What are the data sub subjects rights then? He or she has a right to access the data. Other people's images though should be redacted or pixelated before the data is handed over. The request should refer to a specific time frame as well and not be a trawl with no time frame or you know a trawl into infinity. That's unreasonable. Hidden cameras should only be very rarely used and they in those circumstances should be used for a limited specific period and it probably would be to tackle a specific problem and if you're an employer you'd be well advised to document or record the specific problem that has given rise to this 
what should a responsible and uh, shrewd employer do now he should carry out an assessment he should draw up a written cctv policy and should obtain professional advice my name is terry gory i'm a solicitor in enfield i hope you find this video useful if you do you might just like it down below or give us a thumbs up if you're watching on youtube or facebook or wherever thank you